1992, Tunggu Makata Pahang, and now is the Agong, decided to go professional and bring a foreign player to uplift the standard of Malaysian hockey, especially Pahang. So Beric was playing for the Commonwealth of Independent States in the 1992 Barcelona Olympics. So after that, he joined us and the first of his discipline, his men mental, his skill and his strength. That is what we, we, we were looking towards him and he helped us a lot. Coach, um, the only foreign player who joined the Malaysian Hockey League at that time. At that time. So the environment, how's the feedback from the other players, especially oh. internal uh, details? Okay, it was very exciting. Everybody was getting excited because of some something different. And because of his standard, everybody pushed the morale of the players up. And he helped us a lot, especially in the physical and also team building. The feedback from in Pahang itself was everybody was excited. And uh, we had a lot of spectators coming to watch us train. And we played games, especially in KL. Uh, they were very, very, uh, very, very uh, happy to see a foreign player adapting to a Malaysian style. And we learning to also cope up with the foreign player. Not only depend on Malaysian style, but also foreign player. And he was very good, very good. And, and we learned both ways, we learned both ways. After Beric arrived, everybody took a notice that it's the right move that Pahang did, especially uh, Ditas and Pahang. And after that, we have teams taking foreign players because of the impact, because of the valuable experience they get, and the publicity especially, especially publicity. And that was a very good start by Ditas and Pahang to make the right step to, to open the gates for foreign players to come. And it's very, very, very crucial for the development of Malaysian hockey. Uh, we had a very good rapport, Beric and the rest of us. So during our tournament, and especially towards the last few months before he left to join MBF, he, told, he, he spoke to me in the changing room. He says he really, really enjoyed the task and Pang, and especially with me coaching him. And my people management skill was very good, he says. That's why he... he, he he really admired me and we still keep in touch. And today he is the president of Kazakhstan Hockey Federation. After um, 29 years, mm. uh, the first uh, foreigner arrived in Malaysia. Yeah. Then next season, I can say that 30 years, uh, uh, our Malaysian Hockey League don't have any foreign players because of COVID-19. Okay. And uh, some of the circumstances uh, because of uh, yeah. it's very hard to get the players, you know, about the systems. Yeah. So how do you feel? When three, 30 years ago, you've been buried. Now, we don't have uh, foreigners uh, okay. in Okay, the reason is simple. It's because of the situation, the pandemic, that we cannot have foreign players now. So, we rather have a tournament without foreign players at the moment because of, of circumstances, health reasons, and carry on the league first. So, hopefully, by next year, when everything's back, we get all the foreigners back. Okay? So, we have to make do what we have, and the show must go on. We, we cannot like cancel the tournament, we must go on. And that also will give the opportunity for the local talent, those who, 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 who will not get a chance to play, to play and get exposed and help the national coach Arul for a bigger pool of players.